What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. Today's video is sponsored by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I had the pleasure of meeting these guys at the IV 8888 Range Day. They're really good people, they're veteran owned, they're based in the US, and they make a high quality holster. I've been wearing one now for about a month to a month and a half. I got one for my Glock 20. I really like it. I think you'll like their products too. Do me a favor and check them out. Link in the description down below. So for today's video, we're going to be shooting a gun that I've wanted to try out for quite a while. A big thank you to Magnum Research for sending this over so we can play with it. This is a Magnum Research BFR chambered in 3030. <laughs> so if you don't know what a 3030 is, typically it's fired out of a lever action rifle. A rifle, <laughs> not a pistol. This is a 3030. That's a 170 grain bullet. It's good for about 100, 150 yards, you're pretty good. 200 yards, you're pushing it. A lot of people consider it a brush gun, blah, blah, blah. Not gonna bore you with all that. So, this is a single action revolver. It has a 10 inch barrel. We have a black hogue grip on it. Uh, single action, if you don't know what that is, that means for you to pull the trigger and for this gun to go off, you have to pull the hammer back. Then you can pull the trigger. You can't just pull the trigger and the hammer will go back and fire the firing pin. You have to pull the hammer back each time for the, ri for the not rifle, pretty much is a rifle, for the revolver to fire, okay? And when you load it, the cylinder doesn't pop out. You open your loading gate here and you load it right there. So, that's pretty much all you need to know about this thing. I have not shot it yet. I never shoot a new gun unless I have you all out here with me, uh, just because it's fun that way and I like to share that with you. So. We're gonna get this thing loaded up and we're gonna take our first shots with it. So today we're just gonna use some common ammunition. These are Remington 3030 Winchester, 170 grain core locked. And we've got five of those things loaded up into our BFR. So as usual, first we wanna figure out where our point of aim is with this handgun. Since we've never shot it before, we wanna know where we're hitting. So I have us a paper target set up and we're gonna be about 10 yards back. That is really pleasant to shoot. That doesn't kick at all. Nice. I pulled that one. I knew I pulled that one. I pulled the trigger just a little too quick. That's what I get for getting excited. I cannot believe the lack of recoil. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's shoot it a few more times. That's it. So we know where our point of aim is now, and we know that the gun will group well as long as I don't get excited and jerk the trigger. <laughs> so that's enough of that paper stuff. Let's set up some stuff that's a little more fun to shoot. <laughs> nice. One more. <laughs> Let's try out some bowling pins. Did you guys know I could juggle? Can someone please throw me a fifth ball? I can't juggle, I'm just kidding. <laughs> These bowling pins are pretty tough. So here's where we hit. Nothing out the back. And it's the same way on all of them. Here's where we hit. 
nothing out the back. Here's where we hit, nothing out the back. Let's scoot up a little bit, get a little messy. Cabbage. Oh, we just nicked that one. <laughs> oh, getting wet. Now let's shoot some pineapples. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we put a hole in our table on that one. <laughs> Got pineapple all over my legs. Uh, that's gross. Thanks, defense targets. Okay, so we've got a steel target set up. Let's scoot back a little bit and see how we do. Okay, we're back at 25 yards. Let's see if we can ring that steel. Nice. <laughs> this gun is a lot of fun to shoot with the long barrel and the weight of the gun it tames the recoil so well you would not know that you are shooting a rifle cartridge out of a handgun <laughs> i can't help myself we scooted back to about 50 yards let's see if we can ring that steel I can't say it enough. I'm really impressed with this revolver. We're shooting iron sights, 50 yards, hitting that steel. That target is 20 inches long by nine inches wide, and the head is five inches wide, and we're hitting it with ease. So if you put a scope on this thing, man, you'd be set. So the thing about single action revolvers is some people will say, oh, well, they're slow. You can't fire them very fast gonna pull that hammer back every time well let's see how fast we can get five rounds off all right <laughs> that's not that bad that's it for today's video again i want to give a big thank you to our friends over at hidden hybrid holsters for sponsoring today's video be sure and check them out link in the description down below if you enjoyed today's video as much as i did be sure and give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're a new subscriber make sure you hit that bell that way you get notifications when we upload new videos also be sure to check out kentucky ballistics clothing and check us out on patreon facebook instagram and twitter links to all those are in the description down below or you can find them on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.